I hope you won't mind uh, just sort of sharing your reflections of, of that day for yourself and what you saw, what you felt. Sure. Um, I was going to work uh, just like every other day. I, uh, you know, really by the grace of God, I was coming in late that day. I um, had gone with a group of clients to the Michael Jackson concert the night before and uh, had also uh, my four-year-old son surprised me as I was getting ready that morning. He had never done it before, had never done it since, and it slowed me down and caused me to miss a train that would have put me in the building. And uh, so I was coming into the office a little bit later than I normally would have. And uh, because of that, I was standing on the sidewalk and, and watched the two planes and watched all the aftermath. And I'll tell you, aside from the chaos that was happening, the things that went through my mind, other than knowing that my, my colleagues were in a tough spot, having been above where that second plane hit, was really thinking about what the future was gonna bring and what had just changed, and literally asked myself the question, would I ever come back to New York City again as I was walking my way back up towards Midtown? Talk about the recovery then, uh, Tom. It's, it's hard to even process how you begin rebuilding a firm when you've lost that many people. You've got emotional challenges. You've got logistical challenges. Of course, uh, the whole street was was in disarray. I, but the resilience still it's, it astounds people uh, two decades later, how the street and financial services in this country were able to regroup. Well, I'll tell you, we... Um... We, we had a, the plan we pulled together very quickly was we were going to do two things. Number one is we were never going to forget our 67 colleagues who died that day. Many of them were related to, to other employees. Uh, we had built the company together uh, over many years, and the firm's always been very close. So we said we weren't going to forget, and, and we hosted a moment of silence this morning on our trading desk at 903. And, and I don't believe we, we, we have forgotten. The second thing was, is we said the best way to honor them was to go about rebuilding the firm. And as you know, we, we, we lost essentially almost all of our trading desk. We didn't have a bank analyst that worked for the firm following 9-11. And we didn't know how the rebuild was gonna go. And when we've looked back now after 20 years, uh, we're very grateful for the people who, who were willing to take a shot and rejoin us. Our steeple partners have been incredibly supportive. Our clients have been terrific. And, uh, and our market share is the highest it's been in the 59 years that the firm's existed. And if you had told me that was gonna happen 20 years ago, I'm not so sure. I think the first day we came back to the office on our trading desk, uh, less than five people could, could, could muster to get there. So um, it has been a, 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 an incredible story and, and really still all about those who we lost but the other thing is, and you mentioned 9-11 Day, uh, which is a group that I'm on the board of, is a, an important pivot point is here. Um, more than uh, a quarter of the country probably doesn't remember live the attacks of 9-11. And like you said, Carl, mm. we couldn't have rebuilt without the goodwill and the support of others and the unity and really the resilience that was in the country and within our firm at that time. And I think it's important that we stop and we reflect on that. And that's why the organization I've been part of with KBW's support and founding uh, has worked hard to convince uh, the president, uh, President Bush and Obama to make 9-11 a national day of service and remembrance. We think if we commit to doing these service projects, we'll be able to remember that spirit of goodwill, which we could certainly use more of today as we go forward, because the danger you don't want 9-11 to be three or four paragraphs in a history book. You have to remember what happened after the attacks. And frankly, we get to write the next chapters, not the terrorists who flew planes into our buildings as to what the next chapters are. So 9-11 Day tomorrow, with the support of our, our, our corporate partners, are going to pack two and a half million meals for those who are, who are food insecure. We've got 6,000 volunteers in, in 10 cities around the nation. Stiefel, my parent company, is, is a sponsor of that as well. And 911day.org is a place where folks can go if they wish to register the good deeds they're doing of any type to just remember that sense of empathy and goodwill and really resilience that allowed us to go on and rebuild. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.